And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Now a week or two ago we did a full mock offseason going over everything from coaching changes to re-signing free agency, the draft, and much much more and you guys seem to really enjoy that series you guys got a lot of views and a lot of likes on it and told me that you guys wanted more so in my free time over the last week or so i have put together a different and a second mock off season once again going over coaching changes free agency the draft an undrafted free agency class possible trades roster battles and more so if you're excited for that make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the series but with that being said let's get into the very first part of this this six part series in the coaching changes. Now I wanted to do something very different this time. I didn't want to just have the same coaching changes and the same re-signings. So I made it a very clear effort to make things very, very different in this second mock off season. And the first big change that I made was the offensive coordinator signing. Now the offensive coordinator is probably the Detroit Lions biggest decision this year. And you could argue that it's the number two overall pick. You could argue that it is the draft in its entirety, but in my opinion, the biggest decision the Lions have to make this year is who are they going to hire as an offensive coordinator? The offensive coordinator is going to dictate whether or not the Detroit Lions can have an efficient and effective offense in the 2022 season. And if they get this higher right, the Detroit Lions can look like a playoff contender. And if they get this higher very, very wrong, it could set the Detroit Lions back another year or two in this already too long of a rebuild. So that being said, my offensive coordinator of choice, and this is my new front runner for the position is a guy that's already in the building. And I am, of course, talking about Deuce Staley, the Detroit Lions running backs coach and assistant head coach from the 2021 season. Now, Deuce Staley came to the Detroit Lions to be the assistant head coach last season. He was one of Dan Campbell's first big hires as the Detroit Lions head coach. And Deuce Staley was very good for the Detroit Lions. He worked with the running backs primarily. And of course, we all saw the success that DeAndre Swift had. We saw the success of Jamal Williams and Craig Reynolds. We saw the limited success of Jermar Jefferson and of Godwin Igwebuke at certain times in the season. Deuce Staley was the guy that decided to switch Godwin Igwebuke from a safety to a running back because he saw the potential there, and we saw some big plays out of Godwin for the better of it. I think there's a lot of really good reasons to hire Deuce Staley, the first of which is he is very much qualified for this position. He is a guy that even interviewed four offensive coordinator jobs a year ago, decided to come to be an assistant head coach this year with the Detroit Lions, and this year is potentially looking to make another step up, get more involved with play calling and with the game day aspect of the football of football and of the NFL, and it could be looking to make that transition from assistant coach and positional coach to the offensive coordinator and the guy calling all the shots. Now, Deuce Staley has been in Detroit for a year now. Again, as I mentioned, he was a big hire last offseason and was the first big hire by Dan Campbell. And there's a few reasons that I think Dan Campbell, there's a few reasons why I think Deuce Staley really fits what the Lions are looking for. And I think there's a few reasons why he is the best candidate for the Detroit Lions. The first of which is familiarity. Deuce Staley was here a year ago. He saw the things that worked in Anthony Lynn's offense. He saw the things that didn't work in Anthony Lynn's offense. He saw the progression throughout the year and saw what Jared Goff does well and what Jared Goff does not do well. He saw what the receivers do well and what they don't do well. He was able to evaluate every single position on this offense and on this football team, assess their strengths and weaknesses and what they did well in the season, what they excelled at and what they did not. So with that being the case, with that familiarity with the players, he's going to be able to build off of the success of last year. Because as I mentioned, in the last 
five games or so with Jared Goff, he looked really good, having 11 passing touchdowns to just two interceptions, looking really good, really confident through the air. And instead of hiring a brand new offensive coordinator, coming with a brand new system and reset the entire progression of Jared Goff and the Lions offense, you can bring a guy, you can bring in a guy like Deuce Staley, who is familiar with the offensive system from a year ago, they can take the good from that system and remove the bad, and instead of restarting and resetting this offense, you continue to improve upon what is already there. That way your players are more comfortable early in the season, that way your players can excel faster early in the season, they can get a jump on the 2022 season and this new offense without having to completely take that step back and start from the beginning, they can take a step off from where they left off in the 20. 2021 season and continue to grow that offense, develop that offense, and help his players excel earlier rather than later, which is something that I think the Lions really struggled with. They got a really slow start to the 2021 season. They picked it up at the very end. By the time they picked it up, it was too late. The Lions won their last three home games of the season, scoring over 30 points in all three of those games. And their offense looked pretty good at the end when Jared Goff was the quarterback under center. And I think if we can just continue that momentum, if we can take our offensive success with Jared Goff from the last three home games in the last three games that he played, take that success into, into 2022 and continue to build off of it over and over and over again, it's really going to help the offense, in my opinion, just be better right off the bat. And then of course, continue to develop and grow as the actual season goes on. And I think if you hire Deuce Staley with the familiarity he has with these players, you're going to see better results earlier and you're going to see better long-term results as well. So that being said, another big reason I think Deuce Staley is great for this hire is again, he knows the players and the players absolutely love Deuce Staley. That was one of Dan Campbell's biggest things when he was hiring his coaching staff a year ago is he wants guys that can relate to the players. He wants guys, he wants coaches that can, you know, relate to players, that can teach the players something from their former experience. And because of that, the players and coaches are extremely close in the Detroit Lions. It is a real family in in Detroit and the Detroit Lions coaching staff love the players and the players love the coaches. So the players are going to work hard. They're going to play hard for their coach. And they already have bought in to what Deuce Staley is selling. They have already bought into what he's teaching them. And they've already accepted that, you know, this is our coach and he's a guy that has our best interest at heart. He's a guy that is going to help us be the best players that we can be. And because of just that trust and knowledge already, I think that's a big reason as to why Deuce Staley is the best option for the Detroit Lions. You don't reset the offense. You build off of what worked last year. You don't, you know, reset and introduce this new guy to the players that they may not like or may not agree with, you bring in and you just promote somebody that the players already love and already have respect for, and you get off to a hotter start because of it. And of course, if you can start the season better, that just puts you on a better starting mark for you to improve over and over and over. And by the end of the season, you're going to be so much farther along than if you were to restart and reintroduce a whole new offensive philosophy to this football team. Now, with that being said, of course, with Deuce Staley moving from the running backs coach to the offensive coordinator, the Lions are going to need a new running backs coach. And for this, I looked throughout, throughout a lot of college football and even occasionally at certain positions in the NFL. It seems unlikely that somebody's going to make a lateral move from an NFL team to the Detroit Lions, right? If they're a running backs coach already, I don't know why they would move over to Detroit. Maybe there's more talent, but I think it is very much unlikely that that would happen. So instead, I scoured the ranks of the college football world. Then I looked at guys that one had gotten looks from the NFL in the past and either maybe turned them down or just didn't accept a job offer somewhere else. And I wanted to look at guys that's had a lot of success coaching running backs in the college football world. And I came across a guy that made a little too much sense. Now the Michigan Wolverines running back coach in Mike Hart was a former player at the University of Michigan. He was a two-time Doak Walker Award finalist and finished his career at Michigan in 2000. And seven. Now, Mike Hart is a guy that, of course, is very much retired from the game of football, but wasn't done with the game entirely. He came back to Michigan to coach as the Michigan Wolverines running backs coach, and of course, had a couple other minor jobs, a couple other running back coaches' jobs before that. But he really saw his major success with the Michigan Wolverines, developing guys like Hassan Haskins, Blake Corum, and most recently, of which Donovan Edwards, the five-star running back, who looked really good at the end of Michigan's 2020. 
2021 campaign. Now, I think Mike Hart would be a really good guy for the Detroit Lions to bring, and he is a player's coach, a guy that a guy that players really look up to, a guy that players, you know, really go to in order to learn and to grow. He's a guy that, you know, the players at Michigan really, really like. He's a former player, so that kind of fits the Dan Campbell mantra of like, we want former guys who can share their experiences with, you know, our, our current players, and they can learn from our mistakes and continue to grow so they don't make those same mistakes. He fits that identity right there. And when you just look at the players that he's coached at Michigan, especially last year with Michigan having one of the best rushing attacks in the entire country, it makes too much sense. I mean, he's already in Michigan. He played at Michigan. He coached at Michigan. And now you're giving him an opportunity to just move up one more level to the professionals and still coach in Michigan. It makes a little too much sense. He's a former player. He's a Michigan guy and he saw success at the college football world. He also had NFL interest last year, but decided to come back to coach Donovan Edwards, Hassan Haskins and Blake Corum. But I think with his big bell cow in Hassan Haskins leaving, I think he might be a little more willing to move on to the NFL now that he saw his, you know, real prized possession, I would say. Not not that he owns them, but I'd say his like big prized running back and his big prized piece is going to the NFL. So if the Lions can convince him to come up. I think it'd be really good. He has a lot of energy. He just, you know, infects the players, infects the running back room with energy. A lot of the Michigan Wolverines running backs have been really good over the past couple years. And of course, Michigan with that rushing identity has been one of the top rushing attacks in the nation for a very, very long time. Last year, the Michigan Wolverines with just their top two running backs with just Blake Corum and Hassan Haskins totaled over were just 50 yards away from both being 1,000 yard rushers. I believe Hassan Haskins had 12 to 1,300 yards. Blake Corum was at 952 yards. They were 50 yards away and probably four to five carries away from breaking that record. They were one big play away from having two 1,000 yard running backs. And between the two of them, they totaled 31 touchdowns in 2021. And that doesn't even include Donovan Edwards and some of the other depth running backs that saw time when Blake Corum was out with injury. So, I mean, he is able to coach up these guys. All of his running backs have been productive at the collegiate level. And I think just bringing in somebody that's a former player has the best interest at heart for each and every one of his players that has the heart and passion that he shows on the field every single week for the Michigan Wolverines. I think it makes too much sense and is too good of a hire for the Detroit Lions to not at least call an interview about. So with all that being said, those are the only coaching changes I'm going to make this year. You know, obviously last time we talked about the defensive line coach. I'm willing to give Todd Wash one more year to really develop these guys and see where they can go because honestly, he struggled a lot with injuries and his team, his positional group struggled a ton with injuries. So I'm willing to give him one more year to see how it plays out. But with that being said, those are the only coaching changes I wanted to make. The OC change is for familiarity. It's so you can build off of last year and continue to grow and develop these players instead of, of course, instead of, of course, resetting. And I think the new running backs coach fits what Dan Campbell wants in this football team to a T. So with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think about the coaching changes down in the comments below. Do you want to see Deuce Staley be the new offensive coordinator for the Detroit Lions? Do you want to see Mike Hart be the new running backs coach for the Detroit Lions? And if not, what players or what coaches would you have instead in those places? But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you all so very much for watching, and until next time, and as always, go Lions!